Well, to say we needed that win is uh, probably the understatement of the year, but um, I know it's only five days old or whatever, but uh, what, a, what, what a, a resilient group we had. And, uh, you know, our guys were a little bit down. Uh, felt like we should have finished a little stronger in regulation. Um, but they didn't stay down, and they really came out in overtime and made winning plays. Um, the kid, the Mitchell kid, man, the, the, the play he had at end of the regulation was a winning play. I mean, that was a big-time rebound and dunk. And, um, and we threw a couple of our guys out of the way and just went and got it. And, uh, but guess what? We did that in the second half. McKinley Wright made some winning plays. We made some winning defensive rebounds. Naaman had one. Tyler had one. Dallas had one. George had one. So really proud of our guys. Uh, we got a young group that's growing up quick. And, um, you know, what a, what a win for the Buffs. Coach, it was, excuse me, less than a week ago, you were lamenting kind of a lack of competitiveness at, at Oregon State. Where did this energy and this fight come from in, in a relatively short amount of time? Here? You know, for the – for the most part, our team has shown energy and competitiveness and toughness. It's just sometimes when you have a young team, and we guys, we have a young team. I'm never going to talk about our young team after we get beat. But after we win, I can talk about our young team. And with, when you have a young team and they struggle, their heads go down. And what they have to understand, and, and again, tonight's going into from regulation to overtime is a great example. Like they didn't, they were down, but they didn't stay down, and they didn't play down coming out of coming out of the shoot in overtime. We boom, we, you know, we we played down to start the game, you know. Uh, but so sustaining that effort, that competitiveness for 40 minutes is something these young guys aren't used to because they've never had to do it. You don't have to do that playing AAU basketball. You don't have to do it playing high school basketball, especially when you're as talented as these guys are. They can cruise. They can take possessions off. They can, you know, pout a little bit because they're not going to come out of the game and they're talented enough to make up for it. You can't do that at this level. Well, it's so early. Mark, you know, it's, you don't even, it's just plenty of time. I made a wholesale substitutions, five starters. Okay, you, you fell down 11 oh, let's, you know, let's get out. Let's get these next five in. Let's see if they can do something. They, you know, they kind of gave us a little bit of a spark. And then, you know, you go back to your rotations. But, you know, it goes back to practice for us. You know, yesterday's practice, um, we had two segments where we were competing. And we had a black team and a gold team. The black team was the starters. The gold team was the subs. You know, in the scrimmage, the, the gold team actually beat the black team like a drum. I'm like, well, maybe I'm starting the wrong guys. Then the next, very next competition, I think it was a two-zone competition, I mean, the black team beats the gold team like a drum. And I stopped him. I said, guys, who do I play? Like, let's look, look at just what happened over the last 20 to 25 minutes. Like, who do you play? And when you have inconsistencies and you have guys that play well and don't play, it makes it hard as a coach. But when they figure it out, as we figure it out, and, and, and at Oregon State, we didn't figure it out. Now, we came out against Oregon and competed, but we didn't figure it out at Oregon State. We were on the road, not playing well, shots aren't going in, heads are down, no energy, get rocked by 19. Tonight, we didn't put our heads down. So that's, now we, we have to, that's got to be a, a learning moment as we go forward. Because it doesn't matter if shots are going in. It doesn't matter if you're playing five minutes or 15 minutes or 25 minutes. Play as hard as you can when you're in there. And that's, that's what we talked about. Play hard, compete. That's right. Uh, George King said in the huddle before overtime, we're built for this. That's what he, that was his message to the team. What did he mean by that, we're built for this? Well, we, we, you know, we do five-minute overtimes in practice. We, we run a lot of sprints. We know we're at home. We know the longer the game goes, the more it is to our advantage. And uh, I think it's a way for George to say, guys, this is our game. This is our game. So um, we feel like every overtime, especially in the Coors Event Center, should be ours. You know, that's our, what, uh, South Dakota State went double overtime. It was a hell of a game. Um, this one went single overtime. But, so our guys have confidence playing at home. And I do think Arizona State got tired playing here. They, they have a limited rotation. They play four perimeter guys and, uh, you know, three bigs, three, four bigs. They got tired. Those threes came up a little short, and uh, we rebounded the ball in the second half like we need to rebound the ball. Oh. 
Midway through the second, the second half, he gets fouled and a couple guys check in, and he's like, he's McKinley, like yeah, McKinley is unquestionably our engine. Our guys feed off him. And, it, and I've been coaching for 30 years. I've never had a freshman have the role emotionally, basketball, just that he has on this team. I mean, he commands their respect, and they respect the heck out of him. I mean, usually it's the seniors that are telling the freshmen what to. McKinley is, he is our engine, emotionally and mentally. And Now, not the other guys can't play. They can play. But he's, he's got that it factor, and I've said it since he stepped on campus. Did you ever talk to Archie Miller after you got him? I saw him this summer. Yeah, I did talk to Archie. What did he say to you about that? He said, I'm not sure you know what you got. And uh, he was right. He was right. I mean, he, yeah. <laughs> Coach, uh, Dom had a really, uh, yeah. you know, ups and downs throughout his career. For him to have a game like this in this kind of setting, what, what does it do for this Yeah, I, look, I, I said it to Mark Johnson on the radio. I've really been hard on Dom Collier and George King and Naaman Wright. They're our upperclassmen, two seniors and a junior. I've been hard on them because they have not been, in my opinion, holding up their end of the bargain in terms of what they're bringing to this team over the last – three to four weeks. Tonight they did. They stepped up tonight. Dom Collier stepped up. Six assists, one turnover, you know, made big shots, played aggressive. Naaman, aggressive, didn't turn the ball over one time. You know, Naaman had five, uh, zero assists and five turnovers on the Oregon trip. Tonight he had one assist, no turnovers. We'll take that every night from Naaman. So, George made big threes when we had to make big threes. So, those guys really stepped their games up. Uh, Dom being one of them, and George and Naaman being the other two. What is this rank for you on the most satisfying wins? I, you know, it's, it's, I don't get into that as a coach. I mean, I love them all. We, we showed our team, you know, we've had, this is our 16th win in the last seven years over top uh, 25 uh, programs. So we showed them a clip before we took the floor of previous teams in our regime who have won big games, whether it was Kansas or Texas or Missouri. First one was a Missouri team that Coach English played on. So we had a couple of uh, edits we had to take out of that because Coach English was a little, little uh, disappointed in the way he played. But no, so we showed him like, hey, this is now it's time for you guys to write your next chapter. OK, this is a 16th chapter in that book. And we want to continue to add to that. But I, guys, I want to be. I want to be that team with the little number next to us. And look, Arizona State, has done, they've done, Bobby's done a great job. Trey Holder, Cody Justice, they, they've lost 33. This is their 34th Pac-12 loss. They, won 30, they lost 33 Pac-12 games in their first three years. They've gotten their teeth kicked in a little bit. They're tired of it. And they've played this season like they're tired of it. And uh, now we were able to win tonight. We've got to go back to Tempe. And uh, it's going to be a, another challenge when we get down there. But um, I, I'm, I'm just really proud of our guys for stepping up. But we got that's kind of the standard that we have to hold ourselves to. Not that we're going to you know, win an overtime every night, but we've got to compete and play with fire and heart. We've got young guys that are growing up before our eyes. Dallas Walton is growing up before our eyes. Tyler Bay is growing up before our eyes. McKinley Wright, I'll go down the list. I mean, and, uh, and we need our seniors to keep doing what they did tonight. For those young guys I just mentioned, is there a, a new challenge, a new learning lesson with coming up with a big win like this and having a quick turnaround? And Darn right there another is. Another tough one yeah. less than 48 hours. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And it starts at noon on Saturday. Now we got it tomorrow. It's a short turnaround. You know, one of the things that helps us for these situations is the tournament we went to, uh, the Paradise Jam in Lynchburg, Virginia, the ultimate oxymoron. but. Probably shouldn't say that, um, but any. Uh, but we had three games in three days, and our guys had quick turnarounds there. You know, boom, we play one game one night, and then the next night we got to prepare for somebody else. So we're again, we're built for that. We can turn around this thing quick, but we're not playing Drake or Mercer. We're playing Arizona. <laughs> That's a little different animal, but still, the game plan is a game plan. We got to put it in. We got to execute it, and it's going to be another heck of a challenge because Arizona presents totally different problems than Arizona State does. 
No. Is where you have to convince you guys to get greedy and not. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. You know, and I, I said to myself coming to the arena tonight, you know, like win or lose, I just, we just gotta, we, we can't get too high, we can't get too low. And uh, if we lost this game, we're 0-3, guess what? Got to be ready to handle that. Now, okay, we're 1-2, and got to be ready to handle that. So, yeah, it's uh, the one thing I've talked to our young guys about is you have to, if you want to finish in the top half of a league, you have to hold serve at home. You have to at least split on the road. We did not split at the Oregon trip. Utah, Utah went 2-0. and all. So we've, we've still got a lot of room for improvement. But I'll say, I'll say it again, I've said it before, the future of Colorado basketball with these young guys and Evan Batty sitting out, the future is very bright because we've got a lot of young talent. You were talking about Arizona State mm -hmm. the past years getting their teeth kicked in. And I don't have to talk to you about how tough this league can be. But me being me, I look at this game and I look at their schedule, I was like, teeth kicked. Let's get their teeth kicked in there. <laughs> really I was no. looking for where you're going to win a game. Uh, Did you... Our guy was too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. And you're not supposed to do that, but, you know, you know, I mean, you do. You look at the schedule. And, look, the schedule last year did not favor us. The schedule this year doesn't favor us. Four of our first six on the road, you know. Um, I was disappointed, really, really disappointed in an Oregon trip because I thought we could have at least split on that one. Um, but it puts, you know, against, puts pressure on you. But I can't overreact. I can't overreact. Win or lose. I can't, you know, this, this thing, okay, we won tonight. It's a great win. You ask me where it ranks, I'll, I'll worry about that when the season's over with. I just want to, we just got to try to figure out to how do you win the next one. Because this, this thing is, you don't know when the next one's coming. Coach, how long do you let your guys enjoy this one before you focus on it? Till, till tomorrow morning. And, you know, and, and it should be a short night. So good decisions, get some sleep, get something to eat, you know, whatever you got to do. But get to bed tonight, wake up tomorrow, get ready for Arizona. So not very long. Crowd was awesome. Crowd was awesome. Yeah, the fans were terrific and uh, very appreciative of the, everybody that came out. And the, guy, the people that didn't missed a heck of a game. Thank you. Hey, when did you watch that video? Was that before the game? Right before the game. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Film room, yeah.